Hey, today we have a Neckville custom banjo specially ordered for a fella, and we're going to listen to it, and then we'll tell you a little bit about it, and here we go. And uh, Punch Mountain Back Stuff is the song of the day, so hopefully I can do it without messing it up. So... <laughs> give you all the different registers and uh, Neckville basically is a genius what can I say he came up with a uh, a way to tighten the head where you use two wrenches and you just turn it, it is so fast so even and it's cool and um, I'm sure that's one of the reasons why that this banjo was sold banjo's in perfect condition one thing that's really cool and I, I noticed it was easy to play is it does have a radius fingerboard uh, which is cool, and that's an addition. And in case you haven't seen Neckville's, you can see on the side, this is part of the, and I'm not going to explain it to you, but if you're really interested, you can go to the site and read all about it. I'm sure he's very proud of it. And this has uh, some very famous banjo players uh, play the Neckville banjos, and then the, the, the workmanship is incredible. Now this mahogany banjo, mahogany neck, will go up the neck, and uh, go up to the headstock, you know, your basic keys, we turn it around, and you can see the banjos, this banjo's almost never been played, and the way we know that is we just look at the second fret, and if there's very little or nowhere on the second fret, we know that the banjo hasn't been played. Why do we know that? Because if somebody's been playing it for a while, they're playing Cripple Creek, or they'll play in Fog Mountain Breakdown, both of which were out the second fret. I bet you didn't know that. But anyway, if you have any questions, you can call Andy at 404-372-5482, or go to the uh, banjowarehouse.com site, and uh, you can see more pictures of the banjo, see the inside of the banjo, and have more description of the banjo. And... Uh, if you want to come visit us, we've got about 70 different banjos, so if you wanted to compare this to a Gibson, bingo, there you go. We had some uh, fellow, good friend of ours now, uh, who flew in from New York last week and uh, spent about, man, five or six hours and, and left with a banjo, and he came before about a year ago, and he left with a banjo, so, and he was very happy. He sent me an email. He was happy. So if you want to come and visit us, give us a day's notice because we might be out looking for banjos. And if you like the site, please subscribe to it. And then every time we show you a new banjo, you'll get a notification. And sometimes I get up in the morning and I have a vision about playing the banjo. And I will share that with you. I don't know that that's really that valuable. But you can certainly see the banjos. So if you have any questions, give us a call and we'll be glad to help you.